Alrighty, so I wanted to make this video on little tutorials on how to make your own little personalised character. Some of these things will apply for a sort of public mod or a standalone um, more personal mod for you. Now, I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty on how to make hairstyles and eyebrows standalone sort of thing. I want to show you how to create the body and the head textures and the complexion to go well with your characters. This is more for personal use. Because changing, the, uh, adding complexions or head parts to cust uh, other races can be a pain in the ass, um, especially for people that download it, because it changes that race's forms list, and that might not always play good with certain other mods. So I just decided right now to show you how to make a custom race to replace that follower or that NPC you want to change. So um, in this one, I uh, don't know which NPC I'm going to change. Um, we'll, we'll get into there then and there, but. I've just gone and created a specialized little um, UMP preset. Let me just adjust the microphone a bit. Um, so, how do I create a customized character? Firstly, I go and create a body. So I'm using, so this is going to be a warrior's body. Um, I've already got the texture path set up. So say you want to give her unique textures. For this example, we use the Pride of Valhalla. Um, it's an easier one to do. And I've already got those textures set up in my special edition texture folder. They, they're already there, so you can use Pride of Valhalla. Just um, you know, go to textures, create a new folder, call it AAA Pride of Valhalla, and then you can have two separate folders called UMP and CVBE because it's, it supports both body formats. Um, and you should be good to go. So I'm going to use CVBE. I'm using the Ali body slide because that's what I use. I do not use HDD vaginas, so I don't need 3BBB because, again, Skyrim is a porn game. Sex is an immersive thing, or it's a perverted thing, or however the fuck you see it. Not my business. So, let's get started. Firstly, when I want to make a character um, unique or custom, um, I want to give them a unique body. And so I'll go to, I'm go, I'll go to the body slide. So, I've just kind of rattled it up, made it a bit thick, made it BB's a bit big, thighs a bit wide, you know. Thick thighs, th thick thighs save lives. <laughs> That's a fucking tongue breaker, that one. So, this is just a Standard body, just made a bit thick, and we're going to save as. Um, thick. Thick as. Thick ass. Either way. Save. Now, I still... Yeah, I'm in the UMP. So, make sure it's saved in... It should save to the ordinary tools. I've got two for work purposes, but it will save into slider presets. And it will only... Since my one will only go to never nude. If I go to another one, it removes it. If I go back to never nude, thick ass, there it is. So, what I want to do, I want to go, you, it's, <laughs> I keep forgetting this shit, I don't script my stuff, so you're going to want presets, um, like just ordin whatever you want, if it's skimpy, if it's not, I don't like skimpy armor, unless of course it's for a character that's a bit lootish, you know, like, likes cheating around or fucking around, looking good to get what they want. Um, and it's not like full nudey rudy, it's like just the thighs might be a bit more showing off than the usual outfit, but I'm not going to worry about that. I use VOB's um, body slide for CBBLE. You can transfer them over to SC, but they look fucked up. You have to do a bit of work in the body slide. So I'm just going to go down to here. I'm going to go hold down VOB's, and I'm going to give her just a um, just common clothing. So I'm going to go 4. There should be HD. Here we go. Uh, 4 HDD. So now there's some physics and boots too, other ones that match to that. Build. Um, for some reason, I don't know if I got it wrong or something, but it doesn't have a hands mesh for some unknown reason. But I've already got the hands mesh saved from my game like years ago, so I'll just use that. Um, I'm not too sure if CBB does. It should definitely do, but um, just for those that don't, CBB. I, I just I build the feet with it. If I can find it. All right. So never nude. And then you go feet. Should be a hands option here. I don't know why there isn't a my one. But it's just because, meh. I don't really need it. Build. There's also, the reason I do it in Legendary Edition, so I don't have to worry about replacing what I've changed. Because if I'm going to make an NPC standalone, I want to give him some farming clothes. Um, then I got to go ahead and replace it with the default one over and over. And sometimes you forget. So it's just so much easier to do over here. Um, you can still do it with your one, of course. This is just how I create it. Go on a body slide creator. You'll use a nude version, obviously. Um, mesh. I go uh, clothing, because there's clothing. Copy. Um, 
actor character put that there and I'll rename this fat ass all right but since it's a legendary edition I gotta convert it over that was just a personal thing that I gotta do if you do the same thing I do then good on you so I just use nifop Cut. All right. Um, so I put all my custom things. So you can see all these characters that I've done. A lot of them are in-game characters. Some of them are characters that I've created. But and there's a lot of shit here. Like a lot of it I don't use anymore. But so that there for a standard purpose. So I'm going to just. I'll, I'll just re replace Camilla. Um, I'll show you what this does for Camilla. And I'm gonna basically set up all the stuff and then give her a unique race. She'll still look like an Imperial. Um, or one of my Imperials. You Imperials might look very, very more, like a lot different. Um, so, creation kit. Now, for example, if you want to give her a custom hair, I highly suggest if this for personal use, go and create a um, ESM version of. Chaos Hedos, there uh, should be a video previous in my channels on how to turn uh, certain mods into master files. I use Chaos Hedos as a master file, so I can, holy son of a, nah, that's not the one I want. Yeah, that's the one I want. So I can, um, I forgot what I was saying, holy shit. Oh right. yeah, um, so I can skip my hairstyle, so uh, for example I'll show you. So, I'll use um, Chaos Hedos. We'll just use that as a master file, and then it'll load these two up. I won't wear the eyebrows, as I did that way back in the day before I knew how to make eyebrows, and I'm kind of wasting an ESP slot over that. But I've created like over 800 NPCs of these custom eyebrows. If I was to remove it, I have to do it all over again. No, thank you. That would take a solid good few weeks to do. I don't touch my game man if I don't find it perfect. I use Creation Kit Fixes for um, Special Edition Creation Kit because it loads 10 times faster and it's not as buggy as fuck and it doesn't crash all the time and it's just, whew, it's so good. It's, it's main feature is it won't save face gen files when you save the plugin which Special Edition one does and it's absolutely disgusting. It's absolutely festering. It's really hard to work with custom NPCs you want to port over. but. Creation Kit Fixes doesn't do that. It only saves the, uh, the face gen files when you do. It's taking a bit longer than I expected, to be honest with you. I'm only running one ESP. Um, so, I'll, wait, wait up. I'll go to me uh, little whores. A, 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 oh no, it's in the mesh. A, 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 whore. <laughs> um, hands. Copy. Mesh, a, a skimpy, goss. Oh fuck! It's called fat ass, isn't it? Right there. Now, do not do what I just did. Do not put um, meshes into your data folder when you're running the creation kit. So, for example, since I realise that, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use the meshes that I already got in other folder. But always set your meshes up in your data folder before you run the creation kit, or it will not read the weight values. So it will end up, um, I think it will end up with body one, and you won't be able to change your weight to 90 without neck seams and arm seams and all that sort of shit. So we're going to create a new plugin, fat ass. I'm not going to run the plugin. I don't need to. I'm just going to show you how to do it yourself. So, new NPC. I like to, I like to go AAA. I put a triple A there so I can find it at the top of the order. All right, that's fat ass. All right, so who are we replacing? Is it Camilla? Someone in, actually. Um, my character's in White Run, so. No, I don't need to worry about it because I'm doing it in the creation kit. Um, what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna create the body first. So let's go to find the body, skin, naked. 
So this is the one right here. Now it's essential that you click on show all and remove everything that isn't uh, these three. Because if you're trying to edit an elf, the elves have their own body for some reason, even though they share the exact same meshes, and the new body will ignore it because the elf body's there. So this way you can put this custom body on any race and it'll work. Um, a, a fat ass body. Oops. Copy fat ass. Alright, so. Torso. It's, um, don't dog me in for that one. <laughs> that was bound to happen. Mesh. Um, where am I going? What am I looking for? Fat ass. Uh. All right, there's a new body. My hands and um, that will already work with the existing ones, but we're going to do that for an example. And I'll show you how to add textures. It's very important the head bits too because they will play a major role. Um, what, am, what am I doing? Feet. And same thing. I'll normally find the mesh for you because it's, it's already there unless you changed it like I did because I'm an idiot. It's, a, it's an old thing, mate. It's an old thing. Okay, it's 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 from the past. Um, no, that's because I didn't have it there. But hands and voila. So that's done. Put them in there. Delete the old ones. All right. Did we, did we create a fat ass? We did. So, Nord. Female. 100. A fat ass. So she's got the unique body. Now, she shares the exact same textures that my default Skyrim does, which is the Pride of Valhalla. So what we're going to do, we're going to give her a binging body without any abs or anything like that. Um, and I've got, like I've said, I've got these texture paths all set up from my previous work. It's um, pretty simple. So we're going to go down to miscellaneous, open that up, get into textures, and we're going to go skin naked. Oop. Well, let's go naked. That'll work. Or not. Skin. Bloody hell, mate. All right, this one. Now... Uh, now we want to change these things. I'm going to leave these two the way they are because it can be buggered. I just want to change this one to show you that if show you some issues if you don't create a new race or complexion for it. So uh, texture. I want to go to a a a binging. Now I've set up these files already. You want PCB? I want CB. I want to go to shaved and Yep. <laughs> um, now I'm going to go back to normal maps, I think it is. Normal maps. Default curvy. This one without the abs. Alright. So, that is body. Now the body and the feet share the exact same texture, but the hands for some bloody reason do not. Here's the complexions. Hands. Alright, hand texture should be here and here. Yep, sweet. So, the normal maps, they're tagged with MSN. They, they are purplish, kind of rainbowy colour, and your DDS is just your paint job, pretty much. This one is like the mesh color in a way. It gives us it gives the texture a shape, um, and then we need head. Everyone needs head, man. Head before sex is a fucking whew, blows your socks right off. Where the fuck? Female Astrid. 
doesn't really bloody matter which one you get, I guess. We'll just go female high elf. So, you see right there, that's for the complexion sort of thing, which we'll use. Um, Alright. Go to realistic head, 2k, no moles. Head. Now this right here will not take a effect on the head part itself, the normal map, and I'll show you why. So, do not do this beforehand. This is only for me to show you. Um, parts. So I'm going to add the head. So I'm going to go head so as you can actually use the head in the game. Um, for Elder Race, let's go Nord. So, fat ass, fat ass. And we're just going to change the texture set, head parts, Nords and Vampires and we're going to go a, a, a fat head texture and that will now show up on the Nords. But do not do this if it's for a public mod. Um, I, like I'll show you how to soon make it if you want to... Morley had this follower look unique and be sort of suitable for public release. Um, to make the hairstyle stand alone though. I'm not going to share that here because I couldn't be buggered. Um, it's a bit more uh, time consuming I guess. Alright, head part. So let's go into the scale, we'll see how body's changed. As you can see right here, there is a next seam. No, there is not. Oh, I didn't add it. I'm an idiot. This is the hunt. Body texture. Alright, now it work. Alright, see there's the next scene. Now this scene will still be there when I change the head part over. As you can see, it's still using the default pride of Valhalla normal maps. Now, this is for more of a personal thing if you're not going to create your own race. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the race itself. Nord. Remember, this is more for personal. Don't fuck around with the original edits. We're going to go to face. Nope, we're going to go to tinting. And we're going to go to new. Click in here. And we're going to add the head texture. Nope, no, we're not. That's male. Remember to click on female. Back to, back to fat ass. And voila, the head thingy bob is gone. It's still a little bit of a noticeable thing there, but it's nowhere near noticeable from I value. And of course I showed you how to make, um, I, well, I didn't show you how to do it. There's a previous video on how to turn ESL, uh, uh, ESPs into master files via test edit. We've got that, as you can see here. I can, I just use all of the hairstyles available in the master file and I can do that. I can just give her a hairstyle without having to make it standalone for my personal use because I've got like over probably 1200 followers, not all of them at once of course because that's suicide, but she has a physics body, she'll have physics clothing, um, I'll show you how to add that too because it does make the NPC a bit more unique. So armor, uh, clothing, alright, it's actually called farm. Alright, so use boots for Alright, I better show you how to do this first. <laughs> so you're gonna open up the farm boots. Now down here, you're gonna see the armor add on, but first always safety. You know, safety, you gotta rubber up guys and gals. Um, replace the names of it first, because you don't want to overwrite the original, it's a pain in the ass to deal with, to reset it back. Same thing with this, always rename it before you edit it. 
we're gonna go um uh, like we did. I'm gonna go in the the bibs uh, model, which is for the female. Um, my goodness. We're gonna find out where we put our where, where we put our custom folder for our unique character. We can go to boots. Place our boots with the new boots. Put the new ones in. Delete the old one. Now yeah, it was f uh, clothing four, I think. That's far and three, four. Always name change so you don't replace shit. And same thing. Get the new one. Add with the old. Now we get an outfit. Don't give them an outfit. Simple as that, should be in armor or items at fit. Um, armor, that's body. No, it's not. That right, works. I don't really plan this shit through, guys. So, I, if you fucking if you miss something, just slow it down, and watch it over again. <laughs> um, inventory, and it will fit to her body, as you can see. So it's now a custom stock for her body. So only she will have this sort of clothing shape for her. If you use vanilla, and they will wear different sorts of shapes. This shirt will be exclusive to her and her alone. Um, now I'm going to show you, just, you can stop it right here if, if you're just going to make it personal. Um, I'm going to show you how to make her a unique sort of race so you don't go changing... You, so you don't go changing anything with the race records because that can cause problems with other mods um, in people's load orders. So, especially the complexion, adding the complexion, that can definitely mess around with... Um, Especially since I added it to the Nord race itself. Alright, so we're gonna get a race. Nord. We're gonna call it. Now get a text data. Where am I? All the way over here. General data. It should be just all the normal basic Nord stuff. We're gonna change a few things. AAA, so this will be her default body. Female even toned, um, change that if you want. I find that other voices actually have like combat noises, like female even toned and male even toned, or the basic race, the basic playable voices don't have any sort of talking, but if you use like a female Nord, she'll like grunt and fight and all that sort of shit. Face data, I'm gonna go over here and add it to fat ass head. Um, eyes and all that sort of stuff's all good. Tinting, we're gonna remove all this. And we're gonna add the fat ass since we haven't already, but this is just for an uh, example video. And we're going to go OK. Yes. Oh, I didn't need to do that, did I? Alright, it's got none up here, so you want to set it to default. And there's quite a few th things we're going to do now. Um, we're going to go down to miscellaneous and go to forms list. So I'll show you what will happen if you don't do this. It won't register the hairs or anything. It will, it will because we've already got it on her. She's a Nord race, so we're going to go to... The reason is it's invisible because she's got no forms list at all, so now it should reappear. Or not. Alright, it's, the body's really set to a certain race which she isn't part of at the moment. She's got no races, so as you can see nothing here is working so we need to go down to miscellaneous um, in items, no that's the wrong one, miscellaneous and go to forms list and we want to type orc head parts, orcs, humans and vampires then we're going to go human we're going to grab head parts human head parts humanoid, no that's just for vampires or humanoid vampires, elves and humans Show me the name, fuck yeah. 
Ugh. What is this one? Humans and vampires. Alright, we want that one. Humans, orcs, and vampires. Human vampires. We don't want that one. Humans and vampires. Alright. Now you want to go to put all. All race. You want this one right here. Because that is very essential. This one is very important. All races minus beast. So we're going to go back to race. We're going to put her in each one of them. Go back to the character. She can now operate her hair now. Well, with the I'm not going to find why her body isn't working. It's being great to paint an ass. Ah, uh, that might be why. Shouldn't be that. But it might be why. Let's check it out. So I go back to the body. Yep, so this is just for newcomers and my one does it automatically for me, which is sweet. Um just click on that, double check. Alright, it ain't working. Not the way I want it to. Fat ass. That is causing a few questionable hmms. It's not going to show. One of them will show by the looks of it. See, so it'll show now. Who's this remind me of? This reminds me of that bloody Princess Power. What's that, um, She Ra and that chick before her, the She Ra before her. That, that hairstyle, I mean, it's just. Whew. Yes, I did watch that. It felt like I was watching a five year old girl's cartoon, but if it is for five year old girls and all that sort of stuff, then it's very good if it's very um, LGBT supportive. Because, man, you wouldn't have got that shit back in my day. In the early 2000s and the late 90s, you would not have had lesbian characters for an animated show based for children and female and male adolescents and all that sort of crap. Anyway, so. She is part of the new race. Now, there's one thing I did forget to do. So her head looks like a Breton. So we want to go back to uh, the race. General data. And go here. Down the race morph. Nord. Just keep, keep pressing N until you get there. Oh, that's why it didn't work. Um, that's why I clicked on the body default. Because I didn't set an armor preference. Uh, and just go down and hit on Nord again. Um, actor. So we're gonna go back to the body. I'm just gonna, you know, remove that shit because it doesn't need to be that way. Default. God damn it. Yep. All right. It'll work now because I didn't add the Nord body and race morph, so she looks like a Breton, and she couldn't wear any any armor. So you have to single. You have to put like the armors on her. Each, like every new army, you'd have to individually put on her body, which you don't have to if you click on her, uh, the body morph or the armor morph, she will use whatever the Nords will wear. Same thing if you're doing, if you're making a character with a tusk, you want it to uh, look like an orc, or if you want it to look like a human, but you want it to have a body for, I don't know, you say if it's got tusk, you want to kind of armor morph it to the uh, orcs. See, got clothing back on now. Every bit of clothing that you add that is, will fit to the Nords will fit to well, she'll be able to wear it. And that is kind of how I make my standalone characters. Uh, if I'll, like, have, I kind of, what's that? Give me a tick. I've got to do this now, because now I'm intrigued. Um, she -Ra. Netflix. Um, first she -Ra. What's her bloody name? Oh my god, it's not giving me what I want to see. I want to see the first one, not the original, like 80s one. This one. But, with the different hairstyle. I forgot a name, because again, I, it was an alright watch. It was a bit hard to kind of watch, to be honest with you. 
but it wasn't bad. It certainly wasn't bad. It's just I'm a grown ass man watching this shit. Um, oh my god. Anyway, I'll leave that there because I don't want to bloat your time. But that's kind of how I do it. My my personal followers. If I want to play as them, I so I make them. I make it a race. Um, but if you want to make a customized follower that doesn't use a race menu preset, that's how I do it. Um, I got asked on a Discord how I make all these. I, I start with body slide. I use Ali body slide, like I said, because it saves me having to replace shit, and it's just easy for me to use. I don't have to worry about setting everything to a uniboo preference to fix up the uniboo problem or the, the clothes being stuck to the inside of the breast. Um, and I can just create a follower like that. Um, give me a unique body and the clothing to fit. That is a suggestion. You know, I'll write in the comments, watch till the end. Um, things you got to make sure you set up is at least set up a texture path you want. I didn't really cover that, but hopefully, hopefully that will go into your brain. So. Um, you know, it was just a little fine example. I don't, you know, this is pl it's kind of all over the fucking place, but um, Pride of and it's got Pride of Valhalla. It's got all sorts of bodies. Well, it's got the main two. You download whatever version you want. There's, yeah, you know, like it's um high, medium, and low uh, texture tiers. Then you go into your texture file. Um, and you just create a new folder, like I have AAA Pride, and inside of here I've got CBE, and then the one I didn't have CBE when I first started this, and the rest of these, the female contains the 7B version, or the UMP version, and yeah, and then you can start from there man, you can, you know, you can make a new one, you can make a new one from that NPC, you know, just continuously keep doing it. You can replace all the NPCs in your own game. Most people just download the big major follower mods, uh, so the replacement mods like Bingen's Wives and Bingen's War Maidens, all that sort of stuff. I don't. I make all my own. Anyway, um, this is over and done with. It's a bit all over the place, but I hope this helped you guys how to create your own little standalone character. Either a replacement for an existing character, or a playable character, or just a unique follower. Anyway, peace out, guys. I thought I'd just show you guys anyway, because, you know, it's one of those last-minute decisions. To uh, I'm going to show you how to make a hair mod, or any other mod you want to use as... Holy crap. Um, let me get rid of those. Hair mods, eye mods, eyebrow mods, whatever you've got in your ESP, uh, in your load order, and you want to use those for your custom follower, you know, or your followers. Um... I want to show you guys how to do that. So I'll just include this at the end of the video. Um, I'm going to use Chaos Heados, for example. I've already got it done, but KS Heados. It will move it in the plugin list up to where the ESMs are underneath the ESM, so um, it will change your load order a bit. Beware if you use race menu overlays on NPCs, if that NPC mod changes, they'll lose their race menu overlays, so adjust for that if you use race menu overlays. Um, and um, Chaos Heados was above that NPC mod. Just check it. Alright, so you want to make sure down here it says loader finished. If you save, try to save it when the loader hasn't finished, you'll fuck yourself. You have to re download it. You want to go Chaos Heados, double click on it, file header over here, record flags, hit edit. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. And you want to ESM. Here's ESM. You shut it down, it'll ask to save. You go OK. And congratulations, the ESP is now a master file and you can now use it as a master file for your follower mod and you can mess around with all its hairs without having to make it standalone. Anyway, just wanted to quickly show you that how easy it is um, for those that wish to create their own massive amounts of followers or custom standalone followers like I do. Not all mine are female, I have a lot of male ones but they're not really seriously custom, they just have custom eyes pretty much. Um, anyway, properly peace out this time.